uh, what, what was your preparation for bringing uh, this version of Batman to uh, this this film as a as opposed to previous versions? You mean, do you mean previous versions that I've done? Yeah, yeah, yes. Because like I, I'm, I, I know that I'm, I'd imagine the characters kind of change and evolve over time just with the stories, correct? It's changed, evolved naturally. Like it doesn't. It's not like oh, I'm doing Batman Hush, so it's, he's going to be different. It's, it's evolved naturally throughout. That's what I'm trying to say. Throughout, this is now the tenth film mm -hmm. in the series, um, mm -hmm. and it's almost like twenty-two hours of television. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's like a full season of. Uh, ups and downs and it continues the story in a very strong way so the fact that you know obviously some changes had to be made to sort of retrofit Batman Hush to fit into this continuity while also remaining faithful to the, the, the principles and the themes of the, of the story so um, uh, I didn't have to do any special preparation I was already a fan of the comic book and honestly I was just waiting for them to announced that they were going to do Batman Hush with someone else and some other version of the universe and then when they said they were going to do it with this one I was just I was doing backflips for joy I really was and even when I was recording the film I kept thinking of this day this moment um, you know before going to Ballroom 20 and playing uh, watching it play to 4,250 people and it just gives me such a rush to hear them laugh and cheer and clap and um, I, I don't particularly, I'm not particularly fond of the sound of my own voice, that part of the cringe, <laughs> but I do love watching them react and, mm -hmm. and have fun. And um, yeah, so it's, 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 uh, it's, it's like, it's almost like this time it's personal for Batman and this time mm -hmm. it's personal for me too.